Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to your readings for December 2019. We made it. We're at the end of the year, guys. We got through this doozy of a year that was 2019. It's been really a strong one will say, but hey, we made it. So congratulations. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. It is very, very nice to meet you. And if you are returning, what's up guys? It is great to see you. So before we move forward, I just wanna say this really quick. I have this small intro here that I put in front of all of the monthly Zodiac readings. Um, and if you are new to, the, new to the channel, I highly recommend that you watch this intro once just so that you can get a general in some general understanding of how the readings work, how you can contact me if you would like a personal reading, blah, 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 all that good stuff. If you are watching multiple videos, I have put a timestamp in the comments section below that you can use to skip this intro, but I still recommend that you watch the intro at least once, yes? Moving forward from there, right after the intro, you're gonna find that we start into, we do actually get into the reading, but we start with the pre-shuffle energy. The pre-shuffle energy is the moment that I take right before I start recording the actual reading where I'm channeling the energy of the zodiac sign in question, and I start to shuffle the cards, and when things come out, I start to get the, the general energy of what we're gonna potentially be talking about during the reading. Now, it doesn't always have to be that that message continues, into the actual full-on spread for the reading, but it seems to be that way. It's quite often seems that the pre-shuffle cards come out, come back out in the actual reading, which is really cool. But just to clear up some confusion, that pre-shuffle energy is in fact part of the reading. But because this is a general reading, if that doesn't resonate with you, don't worry about it. Um, just get through that and then see what comes out in the rest of the reading, yeah? So I want to wish a very, very happy birthday to the Sagittarians out there because we are in your season. Happy birthday, my Sagittarius! Yeah, it is your birthday season. Very happy birthday to you guys. I love you all so, so very much. I hope you have a great, week, uh, a great month and a great birthday season. I also want to extend a very happy birthday to the December Capricorns out there. We're going to be moving into your season next, at least in terms of Vedic or not Vedic, I'm sorry, Western astrology astrology. With that said, my channel here can resonate either way, Western or Vedic astrology. You take that into account. You let that work for you. And if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about here, don't worry about it, okay? It, just let it go over your head, <laughs> okay? Um, so with that said, we are moving into January, which is going to be the two-year anniversary of Divine Conversations. Divine Conversations was actually the birthday of Divine Conversations is January 8th. That was the first day that I posted readings here on the channel back in 2018. So Divine Conversations is going to be two years old, you guys, in January. I am super, super excited about that. Um, if you would like to get in on some sort of celebration about Divine Conversations or for Divine Conversations, if you want to send a gift, some, some, something to commemorate, blah, blah, blah. If you have you know a special um, deck of cards that you would like to send to donate to the channel to be used on the channel, whether that be Tarot or Oracle cards, I do have a P.O. box. The, P, the, the address for the P.O. box can be found in the description box below. Um, along with a bunch of other information, like information for personal readings, yes? So keep in mind that these readings are general, okay? So please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you would like a more specific view into your situation, then please don't hesitate to email me. My email address along with a list of the readings that I offer, their descriptions and their prices can be found in the description box below. Yeah. Um, so you also can find me on social media. I am on Facebook 
at facebook.com slash divine conversations 2711. You can also find me on Instagram at divine underscore conversations. The links to those sites can also be found in the description box below. I do invite you to interact with me on social media, Facebook and Instagram. However, if you would like to send me a message, if you would like to contact me, if you have a question, if you want to, if you want to um, order a reading from me, I highly recommend that you do not message me through through Facebook just because I don't always get those messages as quickly as I would like to or as quickly as necessary. Um, I do not want to miss your inquiries, especially if you're looking for a personal reading, okay? So your best bet, if you want to get a personal reading with me, your number one best bet is just to email me directly, divineconversations2711 at gmail.com. That can be found in the description box below. Or to just send me a message on Instagram. Instagram is much easier for me to communicate with you guys uh, direct message-wise. Facebook is just not that reliable, and I don't want to miss your inquiries. Inquiries, okay? So for the cross watchers out there, I do want to explain that these are general readings and mostly I am going to be speaking to the, um, well, not mostly I am. Yeah. Well, actually, yes, mostly I am speaking to the Zodiac sign in question, but because these are general readings, it can be vice versa. It can switch. So if I am explaining a a situation for say Aries and you're a cross watcher for an Aries and I'm speaking directly to the Arian however the story that I'm telling is f is flipped and I'm actually it actually resonates more than I'm speaking to you than the Aries then take it okay take it as it resonates but if it doesn't work that way don't try and make it fit you're only going to at that point end up confusing yourself more or just getting all um, confuzzled and you're just worse off than when you started yeah cool um Finally, what I want to mention is I'm using a brand new Oracle deck this month. And actually, this Oracle deck, it's called the Earth Warriors Oracle by Alana Fairchild. This deck was sent by one of our viewers, Sam. Hi, Sam. Thank you so very much for sending this deck. I used it for the readings this month. And let me tell you guys this deck is awesome it's so interesting how i can you know choose different oracle decks and the messages still resonate very strongly with the rest of the reading you know i was actually and i shouldn't be surprised by that but i was a little I, it was pretty awesome pretty pretty awesome Ooh. okay well with all of that said i think we're ready so let's get into the reading yeah <laughs> Awesome. Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for December 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So let's get straight into this, guys. So um, the cards that have come out for your pre-shuffle, you have the lovers in reverse with the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups representing Cancerian energy. Uh, it could be another water sign, though. Pisces, Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Gemini. And you also could be dealing with an Earth sign, potentially a Virgo. But it also could be a Taurus or Capricorn. Overall energy is the Knight of Pentacles. What I'm getting with this is somebody has fallen out of love in the situation here. Um, the lovers here, a divine counterpart, a divine partnership, a strong relationship, something, but not whatever. Something has gone awry. And I really do feel like, Cancer, you're the one that's kind of like wrapped up in your shell right now. Um, and if it's not you, Cancer, it it's the other person or it just feels like somebody here is keeping their emotions to themselves i feel like someone really is not communicating right now um and i just heard for fear of but i didn't hear the rest of the statement <sighs> okay um but the, on the other hand, it, so it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter what sign it is. I do feel like the feminine is the one that is kind of like rejecting a certain relationship at some t at this point, whereas the masculine is represented by the Knight of Pentacles. Um, so I don't feel like this Knight of Pentacles energy is working in somebody's favor. This kind of feels like 
and this and this is why I feel like the Cancerian is the one that's in this in this energy of rejecting a certain partnership or union because whomever is represented by this Knight of Pentacles here, they're moving too slow. Or maybe the situation as a whole is moving too slow. And Cancer is a cardinal sign. Cancer likes to move fairly quickly, okay? Um, very interesting. I'm just getting a strong feeling that someone is literally choosing to say no to some sort of divine partnership or union or maybe a long-standing relationship, some, some really strong bond between people, between lovers, maybe even between friends. Also, this could represent someone deciding not to choose right now because the lovers can represent a choice. That's something that just came through. Oh, Lord. And then what else? What also came through was, all right, fine. You don't want to choose? Let me choose for you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, let me choose for you. You get none of this. Bye, Felicia. You want to drag your feet? You want to take forever? And then, you know, it's funny because it kind of feels like um, with this Knight of Pentacles here, someone might be hiding behind moving slow or taking it step by step or whatnot, whatever, just so that they don't have to come to make a decision right now. And I don't, I don't really know what the circumstances are in terms of someone choosing or choosing not to make a decision or not wanting to make a decision right now something there could be a pretty legitimate reason for that in this person's life um but it also it could be a manipulation tactic not wanting to choose so keeping someone in limbo for the foreseeable future until they finally get around to making their making up their mind fuck out of here no <laughs> no you're not going to keep me on the hook forever, says whomever is represented by the Queen, Queen of Cups. It could either be the Cancerian or it could be someone else that you're dealing with. You may even be dealing with two Cancerians. Eight of Pentacles just popped out. This might be work or money related. Someone might be refusing or stalling on making a decision so that they can have more finances, better, fi better financial stability. They're focused on their work. They're focused on their craft right now. Yeah, with the Seven of Pentacles underneath the deck. So that could be why someone is refusing or not in the place or able to choose right now. And okay, the other person that's maybe like, all right, fine, well, let me choose for you might be coming from a pretty narcissistic place. But what I'm also hearing with that is they've already given so much to this connection, to this relationship that they're kind of willfully taking this little piece of narcissistic edge just to mm, feel better about themselves. Mm, there could be better ways of feeling better about yourself, but I kind of get it. I just heard in this certain situation, the narcissism is a little bit necessary because you got to take your power back. Someone is taking their power back from the situation because also I do feel like someone is being a little selfish in requiring that they're that, it, it, requiring certain financial or material elements to line up for them to be happy. That could be coming from a place of lack of self-worth. Um, but I do feel a pretty, a pretty thick layer of, of um, um, selfishness with that Knight of Pentacles, slow moving energy, Eight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. That is pretty, it, it feels kind of selfish there. Okay. I'm going to give this one more shuffle and then we'll see what we've got for the rest of your month, Cancer. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Cancerians, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of December 2019.
Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, Cancer, I'm going to give this five shuffles here. One. For my Cancerians, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of December 2019. That's two. Three. Ooh. Four. And five. Okay, let's cut the deck. Boop. Overall energy. Um, before I get into the overall energy, I do want to say that I, I am in in an uh, uh, effort to continue to channel and be connected with your energy cancer. I'm envisioning, you know, the typical crab because that, that is the symbol of your zodiac sign. Something interesting is happening this time, though. The crab is turning red. What I'm hearing with that is that represents passion, represents desire, but someone actually could be really angry or starting to see red, starting to get angry, or is focused on their own stability, their own grounding and taking action through that where they may not have been before. Okay, Cancer. Overall energy, well, well, well. You've got the Nine of Cups. And it seems that satisfaction is coming into the situation because you're acting upon it. You're doing something to bring this satisfaction and happiness into your life, maybe to bring it back into your life. If you've been in a situation or a relationship, maybe even a situationship with someone for an extended period of time, I feel like it really may have gone stagnant. And now either you, Cancer, or the person you're, that you're dealing with, whomever, is really taking action to bring satisfaction back into their life regardless of what external circumstances they may be facing. There may also be some sort of wish fulfillment that's coming through, but I feel like that wish fulfillment still has to do with satisfaction and happiness. And at, to be honest, it mostly feels like removing themselves from a certain relationship. So again, once where I said someone was like, oh, you don't want to choose? Well, fine, let me choose for you. That's kind of what I'm feeling here cancer underneath the nine of cups the hanged man there has been a change in perspective someone has been stagnant long enough or the situation has been stagnant long enough underneath the hanged man you have oh shit death and underneath that there's the lovers again my 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 major arcana Three of them. The hanged man, death, and the lovers. So already that tells me that this was a this was a major thing for someone. A major life lesson has been learned. A major cycle has come to fruition, has come maybe come to completion. I do feel an energy of someone taking their power into their own hands and transforming. For sure. Transforming. Wow. And you know, with this hanged man energy here, this does kind of feel like someone may have found some sense of worth or empowerment. It feels like someone has been stagnant, waiting around for someone else to make a decision or waiting around for someone else to confess something, maybe profess some sort of love. And now it's like you're done waiting, whether this is you, Cancer, or the person that you're dealing with. They're done. Someone is done waiting here. Someone is taking what I'm feeling and hearing is someone is taking their power and power into their own hands. Someone's taking action for themselves and making a decision. More power to you for whoever this is, yo. All right. So getting into the rest of your reading here, first half, second half of the reading, you could look at this as first half, second half of your month. Just take it as it resonates, okay? Do whatever fits best, fits best for you. First set of surrounding energies in the first half of your reading here, Cancer. You've got, oh, whoa, the king of swords. I mean, taking matters into your own hands, absolutely. Making a decision, absolutely. Seeing things as they clearly, truly are, 
Absolutely. Diplomacy? Absolutely. But that diplomacy really could leave you or the other person with the shit end of the stick. Because we're just taking action as it's due. This is a balanced, this is looking at the situation from a balanced perspective, from an objective perspective. You could be dealing with an Aquarian, maybe another air sign, Libra or Gemini. Um, and this could represent someone that is just really difficult to deal with. I feel like this is the masculine side of the situation here where his, his, his or her, it doesn't matter, we're talking energy, not gender, but I feel like their unjust ways might be coming back to bite them in the ass, might be coming back to haunt them. Whereas someone in the past may have been system or, or not systematically, um, consistently saying, well, I need to have my finances in a certain way, or I need to, I'm, I'm going to fulfill my dreams and work on my craft and blah, blah, blah. And I'm going to completely neglect this connection because, or not give as much time and energy to this connection for X, Y, Z reason. And now the other person is, is kind of like, you know what? That's fine. You do that. But I am not going to allow myself to be stuck and stagnant any longer. Okay. King of Swords is coupled with Ace of Wands. Inspiration. Creative inspiration. Inspiration to uh, passionate. I mean, whomever is making a decision right now is fired the fuck up, y'all. <laughs> okay. Wow. Second set of surrounding energies, Cancer, in the first half of your reading. The Six of Pentacles. This is all in service of the balance between give and take. I'm hearing things like, I'm not going to give to this situation any longer because I'm not receiving that which I put into it. This could be a situation in which someone is just being an energetic vampire, taking all the love and the care and support that you have or some or, or that you, whomever has to give to the other and like using that for their own creative pursuits or using that as a, a source of fuel to 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 work on their finances or work on their creative endeavors, but not giving back to the relationship. I mean, it would be one thing if someone here was taking the, the love and the energy that the other person is providing and using that towards their, their craft, their, their, what they're working on with that eight of pentacles that came out in the pre-shuffle, but still finding a way to give back to the relationship. And it feels like someone here is saying, well, Eric, hold on a second. I am planning on giving back to the relationship. I just got to I got to do this work first. Okay, that's fine. But there also is a level of neglect that is here that someone is fed up with, that someone doesn't want to deal with any longer. And it's funny because this feels like a situation where like someone here is like, look, I'm your ride or die. Like I support you. I want you to work on this stuff, but I cannot be neglected any longer. So you can get that from someone else. You're not getting it from me anymore. So there is a little bit of a level of selfishness here and neglect. And someone's getting their comeuppance, getting exactly what they deserve, Six of Pentacles. And that's kind of what was coming through with the Seven of Pentacles that also was, on the, was at the bottom of the deck when the Eight of Pentacles came out. Because the Seven of Pentacles is an energy of you reap what you sown. Mm. Six of Pentacles is coupled with Two of Swords. Interesting. What I'm getting with this is I don't want to look at the physical evidence here. I'm using my intuition. And my intuition tells me something is not right. So that's most likely the Cancerian. But now also, this is a refusal to look at on somebody's 
so on somebody's account, this is a refusal to look at how the situation is imbalanced. Probably because they would have to look at their own actions and maybe not be so selfish. Mm. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Cancer, you have the Page of Pentacles. Starting over. Renewal of a commitment. Uh, I'm getting an energy of the relationship needing to start from the ground up again. Needing to recommit to the situation. To almost like start over. And if you are looking to not completely walk away from this situation if you are if like maybe you're saying okay look either we start over and we start on fresh terms or i walk but starting over here is probably a really big challenge because there are a lot of things that would need to be overcome in order to do that i'm also getting an energy of recommitting to the relationship somehow Page of Pentacles is coupled with mm, Three of Cups. The challenge here is finding harmony again, finding happiness, finding success, fun, fulfillment. But the challenge could also be some third-party situations. Now, I'm not picking up on anybody cheating specifically. I'm actually picking up more on friends, family, and colleagues. Friends, family, and colleagues that might be influencing this person that's working so hard materially on their dreams. And please don't get me wrong. I am not, I am not trying to shit on anybody that's working on their dreams. Please, by all means... Continue to manifest that which you desire. Chase your dreams. Go after them. Do what it is you need to do. But don't neglect somebody else in the process. Don't hold somebody captive while you work on their dreams because you don't want them running off with someone else. If you can't provide that person with what they need to feel happy, safe, fulfilled in a relationship, then don't be in a relationship. If you are not ready to, if your career or your financial status or whatever, however your life does not look or is not organized in the way you want it to, don't put somebody on hold and hold them up from finding a relationship that actually would be really best for them at the moment because you want to be selfish and not let them get not let anyone else get to them like you can't put a human being on layaway you can't do that you absolutely cannot do that or you will face a situation like this where someone is finally done with you and saying i'm leaving i'm choosing for you since you don't want to choose since you want to keep me in limbo so the challenge here really is I know I was picking up on earlier there there were the first thing I was picking up on was um starting over, recommitting to the relationship. But also <clears throat> the challenge here is somebody is trying to build their business, someone is trying to build their life and again there is nothing nothing wrong with that. Okay. All right. Closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading cancer you have Justice. I mean, I really feel like I don't have to say anything other than just justice. Y'all know what that means. In service of what's right, what's balanced. I'm, well, okay, let me not say right, because to be quite honest, in spiritual truth, there really is no such thing as right or wrong. But balance is a better word for it. And I really do feel like this is balance in accordance with higher universal law, not three-dimensional human law, you know? And that balance is in service of sovereignty. That's what I just heard and felt. 
You cannot own somebody else unless they give you that power. And it seems like someone's taking that power back now. Justice is coupled with the Two of Wands. There's that choice. Again, fine. You don't want to make a decision? Then I will make that decision for you. Yikes. Let's get into the second half of your reading here, Cancer. First set of surrounding energies for you. We've got ooh, the Nine of Wands. You know, what I'm getting with this Nine of Wands is that someone is just completely resistant. I, I really feel like if there is any energy or any sort of inclination that someone is giving you or you are giving someone else the opportunity to reconcile, I don't feel it's all that genuine because I feel like there is a hell of a lot of resistance towards that. I really do feel like someone has just has been building this wall of resistance for some time. And it's almost like you're at the point of no return. You're past the point of no return. And if someone is allowing or is giving you any sort of like air or, or, or feeling that, you know, there might, they might be wanting to work this out, it might be lip service. I'm not going to lie. It might be them just doing that for the sake of diplomacy, but not really intending to follow through with that. I don't know. That's just kind of the energy that I'm getting with that Nine of Wands. Be honest with yourself about it is really all I can say. Nine of Wands is coupled with the Hierophant. Whoa. Whoa. What is the Hierophant doing here? Okay, well, traditionalism is what I'm getting with this Hierophant energy. You know, what I'm picking up on is um, some sort of traditional patriarchal masculine control type energy. It, it, I'm almost getting an energy of, I own you, I control you, or at least I can. I feel like I can, or I should be able to. I mean, that's how these things work, right? No. No, that's not how these things work, at least not anymore. That's weird. That's really weird, you guys. So in terms of like that nine of wands, you could be resistant. Oh, okay. So someone could actually be have someone ha could have um, um, recently come into an energy of being resistant to traditional ways of doing things. So this really could be a, a power struggle dynamic between the masculine and the feminine, where the feminine is now saying, look, I am not going to sit around and be your housewife and twiddle my thumbs while you're out, quote, making a life for us. Fuck out of here. I want to make my own life too. I'm not going to stay here in this house or in your designated space, barefoot and pregnant. No. I mean, I just took it back to some pretty old ways of viewing things. However, I, that's what I feel like this resistance is stemming from. But I do feel like this is resistance that someone has recently come into. And that is part of this change in dynamic here, this transformation that is happening. It's part of this whole narrative of, okay, you don't want to make a decision? Let me decide for you. This is very much a power struggle, an ego battle. And the more I read into this, the less I want to say who is right and who is wrong here. Because it's really just a matter of how do you want to live your life? How do you want to express yourself? And how do you want to be treated? That's it. That's literally all this comes down to. And once you figure that out, then asserting yourself and saying, no, I'm not going to accept anything less than what I've decided on right here, right now. Again, it doesn't make anyone right. It doesn't make anyone wrong. However, 
what I don't condone is holding people hostage just for your own selfish pursuits. Like, that's not, that's not balanced. That's not just. That's not fair. Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Cancer. Three of Wands now. Interesting. So someone moving forward with their choice. Someone generating momentum to receive a return on their investment. This could also be in the individual, I guess the masculine here, that um, is under the impression that they have been making an investment into something. But really... <laughs> Really, what, you're invest what you've been investing in is your own self. While labeling it as, I'm doing this for us. Mm, eh, I think you might want to be a little more honest about that. Three of Wands is coupled with Four of Cups. There you go. There's the rejection. There's the unrequited love. There's the like, mm, I don't want this anymore. So yeah, this three of wands does feel like this masculine energy, whomever it is in this situation, whether it be you, Cancer, or the other person, now being faced with the rejection after putting all this time and effort and energy into something. But, but the only thing I want to say, or the only thing I really can say here is I really think you need to reanalyze that and be a little more honest with yourself now if someone is willing to be more reciprocal in the relationship i feel like things could be rekindled but if you're not willing if someone here is not willing to adjust how they deal with the situation how they show up in the relationship then then this is not going to continue. This is not going to last. Because I really do feel like after we've come all this way here with the Three of Wands, someone is finally saying, enough is enough. I don't want to do this anymore. This is not what I want out of life. This is not what I want in a partnership. This is not what I want in a family structure. Because think about it this way, guys. So say you do go through all of this and now this person that you're in this relationship with, or I guess we should call it a situationship at this point, um, finally reaches that level financially, physically, career-wise, whatnot, whatever. And yet things don't change. They still are rooted in this like selfish way. Would you rather wait only to find out then that this situation is not going to change and get better or would you just rather nip it in the bud now it's up to you but i kind of feel like already someone has made that decision challenge your challenge in the second half of your reading here cancer you have deception the seven of swords Seven of Swords is coupled with, holy shit, the devil. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. It doesn't have to be, though. I mean, this, this was literally what I was just talking about. Do you want to be chained to this situation while you're being deceived the whole time, only to reach your destination and find that this deception is not going to really change much, if at all? Or are you going to do something about it now? If you know you're being deceived here, then you need to cut yourself free. Because I can promise you, it is not going to change. Because this person is just going to continue to do what it is they've always been allowed to do. And I did say that correctly. Allowed to do. There is a precedence that is being set and reinforced the more you stay in this situation in which you are being deceived. Closing message or potential outcome cancer in the second half of your reading. King of Wands. Been hearing narcissism a lot throughout this reading. 
king of wands can represent narcissism. The strongest of all the kings in the deck. King of wands is coupled with the seven of cups. You know what's really interesting, Cancer? I feel like some of you are feeling like you want to be in a relationship with someone that's ambitious like this. But there's confusion around that because a lot of the time, the ambition that you are so attracted to is really just for themselves. They may talk a big game, but who is this really serving here? The both of you? Or just them? Mm, that's a big lesson for whomever this is for. All right, Cancer, let's, um, let's get your Oracle card now, yeah? Oops. For my Cancerian Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Closing message, Oracle Guidance for the month of December 2019. Let's see what we've got here, guys. Oracle Guidance for you, Cancer. There it is. Mamakia, mandala of the moon. Interesting. The moon rules cancer. Huh. Would you look at that? Card number 35. Here we go. I, the lunar mother, bring you my mandala of the moon to manifest through the law of magnetic attraction. My mandala is the sacred portal through which your dreams, intentions, and visions shall pass into the wholeness of being from the realm of inspiration into the world of form on earth. There is no need for doubt or concern, for even the appearance of delay signifies that the divine feminine mystery is at work with timing unfolding according to a higher loving wisdom. Trust that what is falling away is meant to be, whilst you have faith in new divine works being born. In a reading, this card says, this oracle brings a sign that creative works will reach fulfillment. Relax with trust and positive expectations that your needs will be met. This makes it easier for abundance to flow and all earthly and spiritual matters to fall into place according to a great and loving higher intelligence. Things are changing even if you cannot see the physical evidence of this yet. Trust that your actions are leading you into a better way of life. Rely on the universe and you shall see how all things come together according to a timing and higher order that suits you in ways you even better than you could have imagined by yourself. It's very interesting because as I was reading that, it felt a little contradictory to the narrative that we have going on here. So maybe someone is being too impatient or maybe there is a way to reconcile the situation and you just both have to just be open to it but i will say that reciprocity is needed here balance between give and take all right so there you have it, Cancer. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. Again, if you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. But with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic month. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading next year. Yeah? Take care. Bye.